Welcome back to our channel. The last time you saw us, we were leaving the southernmost tip of the South American continent and heading toward Drake Passage. What kind of crossing will we have and how will we spend our day at sea? So this morning I'm having a breakfast oatmeal like I would have at home, like my porridge. It looks like my porridge. It does. It's the same. It's pretty hot. Mm. Is it nice? Yeah, it's pretty good, like the consistency and the texture is, is pretty good. How do you like it? It's not like porridge I have at home, obviously, because I make it with almond milk and <clears throat> add protein powder, so that gives it a different flavour. But I bought a banana, I'm going to add my banana, so it's fine. And then I bought cinnamon, brown sugar, I'm not going to put sultanas in it, I feel like I have sultanas. After breakfast, we headed up on deck to check out the weather. So what's it like, Sharon? It's like mild. Yeah? Well, I mean, for us. For Scots. Yeah, they're, they're. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm cold without, I don't think I need a jacket. Uh, sun shining. Yeah. We're probably on the leeward side, I think, because we're not getting any wind here. Yeah, it's pretty calm. Yeah. Well, educational part of the day is done. We went to the lecture all about firsts of Antarctica. Um, first sightings, first mappings, first landings, first to the South Pole, first woman on Antarctica, first birth, first conception and then birth. And then we went to the Q&A after that with Dr. Craig Cormick. Um, we had a few questions that we asked him. One question I asked him was on a scale of one to 10, um, from calm to rough, how how calm or how rough would he say that this crossing has been so far? And he said it was a three. So pretty good going. Um, he said if it gets to about eight or nine, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to cross. So I think we've got it pretty good. Based on walking about this morning and how nice and sunny it is outside, I decided this is a good time to go for a run. Yep. Uh, so we're off yep. to do our exercise for the day. You do that. Yep. And I'll be doing, I'm going to the gym because I think it's quite good whether you're walking or running around or just keeping moving, even just going to the gym. So getting that used to the balance, you know, getting your muscles used to moving about, keeping your knees not locked, just allows you to move with the ship and makes you feel better. You know, you're less likely to get seasick if you keep yourself active. So don't just lie down in bed and mm. things like that. Just keep active. It seems to help. Yeah. Well, that is my farthest south run and my first time running three miles in the Drake Passage. I wonder if there's a record for first Scots woman to have ran three miles in the Drake Passage. <laughs> We're going for first. Yeah. I think we've earned some chill time now. Nice and warm. Better than out here. It's better than out where you are. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> Cold wind. Yeah. I will join you. That's the top side bar and grill. <clears throat> Sharon's just went over because they brought out fresh hot chips. So she's happy. A chilly day out on deck, but we're chilling in the sun. But look at our, our poor lifeguard. He's frozen and he's wrapped up. He's had to be, be there for about a few hours now. But he said he's finishing soon. He does, I offered him a coffee, but no coffee needed. So the hot tubs are running. We were in one earlier. And now it's all. And you just had a nice big bacon burger. A nice bacon burger. Oh, I was here. It was pineapple in it. Yeah, pineapple out. But you had lots of meal. And I had. Uh, I had pork, sauteed mushrooms, potato salad, and chips. And we're just chilling, watching the sea. Long Island iced tea's cocktail of the day. So tonight on the schedule, they have a tango night. So I've dressed in my tango outfit again. Um, and hopefully we can put into practice what we learned at our tango lesson last week in Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. Gonna go get some dinner first and then head up to the Bliss Lounge for a tango experience. 10 pm.
So we've got a table right at the back this evening, looking out over the wake of the boat, the ship. It's so much brighter back here. We've got these massive windows, feels really open, really nice. This restaurant's really quiet tonight. I wonder if a lot of people are seasick and can't actually be bothered to eat. I don't know. Having made it safely across the Drake Passage, join us again tomorrow because we're about to arrive in Antarctica. So we can finally actually see something. So this is Deception Island. Phil's now running a Penguin Peep Show. 